WeatherWeight's most accurate forecast since 2008. I'll be happy to tell you I was sleeping when we had these lows. Nice and warm, I might add, but check it out how cold it was earlier today. 7 at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Airport and also in Williamsport. 19 is the average low this time of year. Since those temperatures, those really low temperatures, we've seen our numbers come on the rise a bit. We even hit the 20s. Look at all those 20s, but now we're starting to backtrack a little bit. We'll bottom out in the mid-teens by later tonight. Current wind speeds, finally, just about everyone has come down, except for you, Mount Pocono, but your winds will be diminishing along with Pottsville in not too long, so we do not battle a wind chill tonight. We've done enough with that wind chill. I'll say that one firsthand. Here's Max H up a radar show in the dry conditions and the clear skies, but the sky is not staying clear for long. Lots of clouds just out to our west. In fact, we're going to start getting those clouds in a matter of hours. Then we get this. This is our snowstorm. All that, all that moisture right there will be sliding our way overnight Sunday and into Monday. And we were chatting about this at the beginning of the snow at uh, the show. That is, I thought this is really interesting. The most snow we've gotten so far, the Wilkesbury Scranton Airport, where we keep the records seven inches, and that was the day before Thanksgiving. That was the most snow. Well, I think we can get rid of that record and replace it with this. Here's what's heading your way for tomorrow night into Monday. 6 to 10 for most spots. Everyone in blue has that 6 to 10, including Wilkesbury and Scranton. Then to the north of Scranton, check that out. 10 inches and more. Emphasis on the end more for the northern tier. If you're to the south of I-80, more so say to the south of Pottsville, to the south of Sealands Grove, right there in the pink, you'll grab 3 to 6 just because rain will be mixing in at some point tomorrow night. Everyone has a winter storm warning in effect. And that goes into effect at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow and last until midday on Monday. So we're dry for at least the first half of Sunday. Here's noon. After about noon, fair game for some light snow to arrive. It'll be very broken up, very scattered. Here's 2 p.m. From 2 to 7 p.m. is when that snow arrives. Again, look how scattered it is. From 7 o'clock on, it turns steady. We'll be in the thick of the storm by about 1 a.m. Look at all that snow just falling for everyone. Then 2 a.m. We still got the snow. 4 a.m. is when we start seeing that rain snow line nose its way into our area. Look at that pink, that sleet. Then look at the rain that's mixing into the south of I-80 by 7 a.m. and even through 9 a.m. So there you go. Notice we have some snow and sleet to our north and uh, some rain to the south. I actually do expect the northern tier to stay all snow by 9 a.m. Things wrap up between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. I know this model still shows stuff at 2, but we are done after about 2 o'clock. And I think we're just about done with the weather forecast. So let me show you the seven day forecast. There you go. So once we get past the snow, Tuesday we dry out, it'll be chilly. Wednesday, hey, how about some more snow? Don't worry, it's not a big snowstorm. It's just a little piece of energy coming by with a cold front to bring us a couple inches, one of those clipper like systems, if you will. Beyond that, just pretty cold in that seven day forecast. Timing of the storm is unfortunate. So many people be out and about heading to parties right. coming and going. You have to be careful if you're going to any Super Bowl parties, you may get stuck there. So that's just something to consider because I don't drive in the snow. It scares mm -hmm. me. I even have an SUV and I don't want to take a chance. Roger that, Drew. Thanks. War